And I don't know where everybody is located here today. But having said that, um, 13 cents is fully loaded. Now, you're going to hear people that say, oh, well, we scan for 5 cents. We scan for 3 cents. We scan for 7 cents, whatever. Um, folks, it's not true. They're going to they're gonna quote that for the scanning, but then what do they charge for indexing? What do they charge for pickup and delivery? What do they charge for quality assurance? What do they charge for the outputs? I think you get what do they charge for special handling. You know, these are all extras. So I don't believe in that. I think we should be honest with the customer and, and volunteer the information right up front so that they can see it. So when I did this, 13 cents, my comment to you is, yes, you can sell it at 13 cents towards the end of the presentation here. You can get paid for assessments. We haven't talked about that. Some clients will say, yes, I have 500 boxes in the back room, but I don't know where they all came from, and I don't want to have the same conversation a year from now, so I need you to tell me, how can I streamline my workflow? Well, that's called a workflow assessment, and it's generally $1,500 a day. You can charge for that. Um, we do offer a two-day training course and toolkits, so your staff can go out and do it. Um, I believe passionately that once you do an assessment, you'll probably get the job, uh, the follow-on job, which could be substantial. Anyhow, conversion, that's why we're here today. Um, we believe that you can get paid for that, but you can also outsource portions. Um, I did a 4.7 million conversion for the state of New Jersey. We didn't want to do the indexing here in Massachusetts, so I sent everything to South Africa. They indexed all of that job, did a wonderful job, and the charge was about a tenth of what it been I would have spent here in the United States. So anyway, um, conversion, the stock prep and the scanning, you're going to have to do here locally, but the indexing can be somewhere else. Um, special handling, you get fees for that. Uh, you know, what if you come across a book? There's an extra charge for that. Outputs to their existing system, you can get charged to uh, take their information and import it into their system. You might actually sell them a new system and then get paid to import it. Uh, there might be maintenance contracts if you do sell software, additional license fees as the system grows. Uh, there's always additional professional services, especially when you're dealing with workflow. Once this stuff is scanned and you put it into an ECM system, there's a workflow, and workflow is typically $187.50 an hour is what you would charge to, um, to your customers. So, and the whole concept here is start in a small department, do a stellar job, and then get references and referrals out to different departments. All right, so now selling, what's it going to take? Well, you're going to go out and you're going to teach your staff. And, and again, we have, you know, we're a training company. So we have a two-day uh, high-performance ECM sales training course. It teaches them to go out and talk. They don't do consulting. They don't do what's called free consulting. They do discussions of business and technical requirements. Then they look for boxes that are on site. They ask for square foot costs, and I'm going to address that here in a minute. You're going to educate them. Maybe you hold seminars, or maybe you hire Byron to do a seminar on your behalf. Um, I set up uh, Century United out in Topeka, Kansas, uh, to offer scanning, which they do to this day. How they started was when I went, when uh, my wife and I, she's in the business as well, April, when we went out and we did the training on site in Topeka, um, I offered to do a uh, hour and a half long breakfast seminar for Century United. So they simply invited in some of their existing customers. I did the seminar. They walked away with a scanning job with the largest school system in Kansas. So that's how that can start. Anyway, uh, then you can get paid to do assessments, $1,500 a day, I told you. Uh, you're going to always ask for a proof of concept. You're going to, or offer rather, you're going to take a little bit of their files back to your office, prepare it, scan it, put it online, and then go back and show it to them. Then you're going to, then it's traditional sales. Agree, propose, sign, pick it up, and go ahead and start. So that's my prospecting advice. All right, what you're going to need to do this, you're going to need equipment. You're going to need hardware and software. And please don't ask me which hardware and software because I'm vendor neutral. It doesn't matter. You can use Panasonic, you can use Canon, you can use anything you want. You know, Kodak, you can use anything you want. But please understand that if you invest a wee little bit in your hardware and software, you're going to make a wee little bit at the end of the month. If you buy a production piece of equipment, you'll make more money. <clears throat> there's policies and procedures. There's handouts, or, uh, excuse me, hand guides that uh, that we give to you that uh, basically coaches your staff. How many people are you going to have? It just depends on where you want to start. And yes, we have set up bureaus with one person. You're going to need a facility. You're going to have to have operational training. Again, hopefully that's us. Uh, marketing, we can come alongside of you and, and adjust your website, uh, get you into uh, opt-in uh, via social media. 
There's legal advice. You're going to need all the, you know, statement of work, service level agreements, terms and conditions, contracts. We give you all of that as examples. You're going to need sales training. I firmly believe that you don't want to be professionally trained and be the best kept secret in town. You need to be able to understand how to relate that to your existing customers. And then there's tools, and we have a lot of tools that we've compiled over the years. So what do you really need? You need somebody that can mentor you, and that's why I put our logo right in the middle of this. Um, that's why we're here today, folks, is um, we're offering to come alongside of you and teach you how to get started in this business, but more than that, teach you how to get started professionally in this business so you can make some good money. Okay, let me show you something here. This is interesting, and, and again, this is in your handouts. But uh, I said to myself, let's be real. Let's look at a small office. Maybe it's got 10 people in the office. Now, this could be one department within a larger company. But let's talk, and let's say that this is 10 people. So I'm going to show you how much they presently spend with paper, and I'm going to show you the same scenario done electronically and what the delta between the two is. So the question is, how many people in your office handle paper documents? And it's 10 people. How many times does each person retrieve a document each day? 20 times. How much time does it take to retrieve it? Two minutes per document. What's the hour, uh, average hourly salary? $18 an hour, fully loaded. Uh, now, this is important. How much per square foot for your office space? Now, this is Class A office space at $30 per square foot. Now, maybe it's less where you are. Maybe it's more where you are. But in Boston, this is about what it is. Uh, how many file cabinets per person to file cabinets? Okay. How much time do they spend 20 minutes a day filing? Now, let's talk. In a real 10-person office, I bet you they spend two hours filing because it's much more than 20 minutes. But we'll be conservative. Okay. So in that same, that exact situation, here's the monthly calculations. 10 people, 20 times they're going to do the retrievals at two minutes each is 400 minutes. It's such and such hours at $18 an hour. So it's $2,376 a month for document retrieval. Now stay with me. 10 people times two filing cabinets, 20 cabinets. Each cabinet five uh, square feet is 100 square feet times $30 is $250 a month to store those paper files. 10 people times 20 minutes for your filing is $1,188 a month. So total monthly, this small office is $3,800 a month for paper. Now, let's talk. Your client may not know this, but this is your job. This is what we teach in the sales training. You have to go out. By the way, I call this um, give me a compelling reason to change. I actually wrote an article that was uh, published in Image Source magazine about that. But anyway, there's got to be a compelling reason they're not going to do anything. So small office spends $45K a year. All right, using paper. Now, remember that figure, $45,000. Here's the same situation, but now done electronically. So what if they decided to have everything scanned and go with an electronic system? All right, 10 people, there's 20 file cabinets. Well, first, stuff has to be scanned. So yes, it costs money to have stuff scanned. It costs them $1,665 a month to have it scanned. However, the scanning for all 20 file cabinets is done in one year. So it's now done. It's, so it's a one-time fee. And I think you're going to see, don't let that fee scare you. Even with that fee, you're going to find out they still save money. So watch. Monthly calculations. So now for document retrieval, they only take two seconds instead of two minutes. So it's $39 a month. Okay. Now, once you have information electronic, it's got to live somewhere. So I say it's going to live in a cloud-based system. They're going to need seven gigabytes of storage in the cloud-based system. We're going to sell it to them at $35 per gig. So now they're going to spend $245 a month for the cloud-based storage system. Now, that's a direct wash against their file cabinets. The file cabinets, they were spending $250. Now they're going to spend $245 electronic. However, let me tell you something. There are so many more benefits to having their information in a cloud-based document management system. Very long conversation, and there's a litany of it. So we'll talk about that later. But, but So a direct wash, but they gain all these additional features and benefits. All right. Now it takes uh, one minute to do the filing because all they have to do is uh, you know, uh, look at a document and, and key in some uh, relevant indexes. So it's $60. So watch this now. Now go slow. Total monthly expenses. The 1665 is their scanning. The 39 is the document retrieval. The 245 is the cloud-based. The $60 is the filing. Now they're going to spend 2009. They were spending 38. Okay, now remember, they're actually paying for the scanning as well. They're still saving $1,800 a month. 
So, I mean, candidly, so why wouldn't you want to have it scanned at that point? But watch this, total annual expenses. Now, in the first year, uh, I'm not going to bore you with the details, but anyway, in the first year, they're going to save $21,000 to do it. And then in year two and subsequent years, they're going to save over $41,000 each year. Again, now I'm getting comments like, well, shoot, Byron, when can you start? And I mean, that's what should happen. But this, this, how do I say this? This means that your sales staff understands to go out and ask questions. Don't just focus on the, you know, the speeds and feeds of the solution, so to speak. Just don't do that. They have to understand how to, how to ask a question, shut up and listen and document the results and then show it to the customer. You know, build, this is called building an ROI. Okay. So now let's, let's look at this. So I hope this resonates with you. Let me show you the next bullet. All right. Oh, did I mention that you get paid 20 grand to scan all this stuff in doing this job? And you're now into $245 a month, which is likely to grow for your cloud-based ECM storage. So folks, this is a win-win. Uh, the 20 grand up front is one-time income, which I love. Uh, and the 245 is called residual income, which you love. Everybody loves. So hopefully, and again, I'm monitoring the chat. I don't see any questions. If you have any questions, just key it into the chat window. But uh, hopefully uh, you really get this because uh, this is good. This is good. All right. So in closing, here's the question.